right, this is my plan. I got an idea I've had for a few years about uh, a way our city can save money by perhaps teaching our citizens how instead of bagging up all these leaves and putting them on a curb like people have been doing for several years in the you know the tan bags that they can do it a different way rake all the leaves together which I'm gonna blow them all together with my blower right here and then mow over them it seems like all of this won't go away but you'll see it in the end it'll just be little brown specks in the grass it'll add some organic matter to the lawn which helps fertilize it and nourish it it'll save the expense the city has to uh, pick up all the leaves now granted I understand it'll take a long time to be able to educate the public because they've been so accustomed to doing it this way. But uh, as you can see, in just in my front yard here, which is what we're going to do, I got quite a bit of leaves. My tree is just about done, although the tree across the street is not, so I'll get more. And I got leaves back here. So I'm going to just uh, let you watch how I do it, show you it a bit here and there in stages, and how it works out. Anybody could just rake them all into the yard. They don't have to use a blower. They don't have to have that expense. Most people already have some kind of rake. They can rake all their leaves into the yard, let the kids jump around in them and play with them, smush them flat, because actually that's fine. That's what's going to happen to them anyway. But uh, I've done this probably the last three or four years. The only time I ever put out bags is if I got uh, a bunch of limbs. Sometimes I tie them to death together with some juke twine. But other than that, I don't put out 20, 30 bags like a lot of people do. I just do this. It seems to help my lawn. Um, and it's pretty inexpensive. I don't even have to go out and buy bags. We bought maybe 20 bags four years ago, and I just finished them this summer, 2013. Get back to work. spread them out as much as you can over the yard so that uh, they're kind of even they don't get they don't bog down no more and uh, we'll just show you a few passes and then we'll show you the end result
Now you can see after I did one pass, you get all this kind of chopped up leaves. Basically, you are shredding them up. You get all this kind of chopped up leaves. You might have to make two or three passes on your yard. But you'll see uh, what happens when we're done with it. It's like yard magic. Give me a little bit. It's already recording. knocking it down a little bit by little bit probably take one or two more passes and that and this will all pretty much vanish what did I tell you America see look like it's all gone all you see in the yard there's a bunch of chopped up little pieces in the grass. It's not bright green, but heck, what the heck? It's the uh, first week in November. I'm trying to keep it green. It just looks, kind of matches the autumn colors. All this here will be, will decompose by next spring. You won't even see it. It'll be gone. Matter of fact, it'll be gone January, February, if we get a few more rains and uh, it doesn't freeze up, you won't even see this. A little bit longer. But I wanted to talk about the uh, type of lawnmower that I was using. Not the brand or nothing like that, but I just got a mulching lawnmower. <clears throat> As you can see, I unhooked the bag and just put the bag on the back pretty much throughout the entire summer I don't even use the bag just a regular five horsepower mulching lawnmower and it'll take what you saw earlier and give you that no bags my neighbor across the street he was doing his lawn he had to do one bag for his front yard but he had to probably stop three times so he could do it we didn't have to stop any time. Only time we stopped was just uh, me and my son to switch. But uh, like I said, I've been doing this for a few years. It works good. It's nice and clean, neat. And uh, a little bit, I mean, I could have made one more pass and you wouldn't even see little bits of leaves, hardly. But uh, it works good. I thank my son for uh, helping me out. Probably have to do this to his yard one day. And uh, he'll record me for me. I just wanted you to see what's possible. It could be uh, quite inexpensive for the city. The city wouldn't have to go around and do a double pickup, except for maybe branches, which would be you know tied up by the citizens. And um, it would be much easier, or maybe less expensive than doing it the other way. Now the people that won't like it are the folks that pick up leaves to use in their gardens, uh, community gardens, stuff like that. Uh, I imagine if some form of this, voluntary, was done, there still would be some leaves out there that people could pick up, and it would probably be in a few years as people would be educated to the process minimal in terms of what the city would have to do to go about picking up leaves on a weekly basis. I imagine it's quite expensive to not only pick up our regular waste but pick up yard waste and have to keep them separate. 
and uh, this is just something that uh, has worked well for me. I imagine I got the idea from other people, so I imagine other people are doing that as well. But uh, I appreciate you watching. If you're uh, you like what you saw, don't feel like you wasted your time. Consider subscribing, uh, liking our uh, video, and we appreciate you watching. And we'll see you the next time.